This video is going to talk about string methods with the dot length, dot to uppercase, and dot to lowercase. And this is basically just uh, method. Think of methods. If you're not familiar with methods at this point in um, in your Java programming, think of methods as uh, maybe a little mini program that you're trying to access that's already written for you, and it's kind of a mini program that's going to perform some procedure for you. And so in order to show you how this works, I'm going to create a string variable. I'll just call this string um, A. And we'll keep it simple. String A is going to be just the word uh, school. Now, what I'd like to do is I can output A just as we do basic in basic output or using system.out.print. Now I'll just output the word school for me, and that's no big issue. Now there are a lot of times where you want to count how many letters or how many characters are in a string. So for example, the word school has one, two, three, four, five, six, has six letters in it. And maybe I'd like to test to see how long it is. I could do that. Okay? I can output, but I need to use the dot length. So you have to remember that the string is called A but this time I don't want to actually print what A is, I want to print how long it is, so I go dot length. And we use the double parentheses there, which signifies that it's a method. And what this does is it takes the string A and it really just counts how long it is. So if I, when I run this, you'll see that it, this line of code will output the word school, but this line of code is just going to output how long it is. It's actually going to count how many characters are in school. So school and six. So that brings up another item here where, you know, I if I, I, I wouldn't have to type a.length in there. I could actually store that number six into a variable. So that variable, though, it's very important to remember is a number. It's an integer. So I could go int. Uh, I go int size, I'm going to call this variable size, and I could store a.length into that size. And so size right now is equal to 6 because a.length counts how long school is, and it, that's 6, and it stores it into the variable size. So now I could say, um, I can do an output statement, and I could say I have. Now I have, let's say I have six classes a day at school, so I'm going to go, I have pl I'm plus, so that's concatenation, where I'm going to be tacking things together or combining things, uh, and I'm going to combine whatever size is, that's six, remember, and then I'm going to combine it with classes each day at school. So this output statement is is going to literally print I have space, and then it's going to print the variable size, which remember is stored as the number six because size is the length of school. And I have six classes each day at school. So I'll just run this and realize that it's still going to give me my output statements from above. So it's going to say school six, and then there it is, I have six classes each day at school. And so that's the a.length method, which really just counts how long a string is. Of course, I could say, I could go here and go, school is out for summer, and that number is going to be a lot bigger. So school is 6, but the space here is 7. 8, 9, the space is 10. 11, 12, 13, the space is 14. 15, 16, 17, the space is 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So when I run this again, now instead of getting 6, I'm getting the number 24 because that method dot length is counting how long this entire string is. So there's a summary of a dot length. Now I'm going to go back to just the word school to simplify this again. And that's great. I can count how long strings are now, and so can you. It's just important to remember to use the name of the string and then put dot length after it, and you can count how long it is. Now, there's other things you can do to strings, too. You can force them to be uppercase, and the way I would do that is 
I will go, let's see, I'm going to go with string b. I'm going to create a new string variable. But this time, I want b to equal the word school in all capital letters, but I don't want to type it. So the way I do that is I'm going to take the variable a. Remember, a is right here. a is actually the word school. And I'm going to force it to be uppercase. And the method that does that is to simply type the words to uppercase. And remember, case is sensitive here, so the 2 uh, should be both lowercase, and then the u is uppercase u, and the c is an uppercase u. And so string b equals a dot to uppercase basically says this. It says, hey, will you go look at a, the variable a, whatever it is. OK, there it is. It's the word school. And we change it so that everything is uppercase for me. And when you're done, so it's the word school in all capital letters, will you store that into b for me? And so I will, I will put just the variable b and that will be my last line of output when I run this and you can see that it's changed the word school to all capital letters and just like I did that I could change things to all lowercase letters so if I created a third string variable and I took b now remember b is the word school in all capital letters maybe you can even guess what I'm gonna do here I'm going to go to lowercase, like this, and it will just take that all caps and turn it back into all lowercase. So I'll print the C here, and we'll take a look at the output just to show that what's going on here. So my output window, this school here is the letter A. This 6 is how long school is. Here's my string output with concatenation, and this number 6 is a variable. Here's my two uppercase school, where it went all uppercase. And here's my two lowercase school, which switched it back to all lowercase. So two uppercase and two lowercase could be very useful, especially in password encryption and password checking, uh, because if your password is not case sensitive, you really want to check to see if the user has typed uh, uppercase or lowercase letters on accident or maybe intentionally uh, because if your password is not case sensitive one of the more common things to do is to actually pull this on the password so if a user types a password a lot of times if it's not case sensitive the program will change everything to lowercase so it wouldn't matter if you typed uppercase or lowercase the program would just automatically change it all to lowercase because that way it doesn't need to check to see if you typed a capital um, or a lowercase or what you did. So password encryption checking is kind of an important or one application, I guess. But there's a lot of times you may want to change things to uh, change cases of things. So those are three string methods that are very important to get used to. There's the uh, dot length method here with an example. And I'll just note it here and comment it. There's the dot length. There's the uh, dot to uppercase. Okay. And there's the dot to lowercase. And that is only three types of string methods. There are more, uh, which there will be future videos of for those. So, hope that helps. I'd practice a little bit with those and just get used to using them.